Clover Station comes ready to set up and take payments in just minutes. In the box, you'll find the Clover Station, a receipt printer, and a starter kit, which includes a hub, power brick, and power cord, ethernet cable, paper rolls, Velcro fasteners, and a quick start guide. You may also have received the optional cash drawer. Let's get your Clover Station connected. First, connect the receipt printer cable to the bottom of the station. Connect the hub to the second connector. With a provided screwdriver, attach the connectors to the device. Now, connect the power cable to the power brick. You can also use the Velcro strips to mount the station hub under your counter. To power on your station, simply plug it in and press the power button on the right underside of the screen. Select the language for your setup and follow the setup wizard to activate your station. Next, we'll install the printer paper. Open the printer door and push the green lever. Insert the paper roll. And print a quick test receipt. Now let's connect to your network and activate your device. You can connect via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whichever works best for you. We'll walk through connecting to each. If you prefer the Ethernet option, connect an Ethernet cable to the hub, then to your modem or router. Your device will automatically try to connect to the internet and will let you know when successfully connected. Just be sure to turn off any Wi-Fi networks. To connect to a wireless network, tap Configure, and select your network. Enter the password and tap connect. Your station will now download and install the latest version of Clover software. It will reboot once after the initial install. While you're waiting, Clover support will send you an email with the activation code for your device. The code will be sent to the email address used to set up your merchant account. If you have multiple Clover devices, each device has its own unique activation code. Use the device serial number to match it with the right code. If this is the first Clover device you're activating, you'll be prompted to enter an admin passcode. If you already have an admin or owner account, the setup process will skip this step and your apps will begin installing. After your software installs, you'll set some initial settings, such as where to prompt for tips, either on the device or on the printed receipt, and whether you want to require a passcode to unlock the device. You can also edit these settings later in the setup app. Unlocking your Clover station is easier than ever with its fingerprint sensor. To capture a fingerprint, follow the instructions on the screen or tap skip to set it up later. You can add fingerprints later by going to the Employees app, selecting the Employee Profile, tapping Edit, and adding a fingerprint. Up to 20 fingerprint touch codes can be set for your staff. Here are a few of the additional features you'll love about your station. Plus, there are a variety of Clover accessories that can help streamline the day-to-day. -day. To learn more about getting started, go to clover.com help.